Hey everyone, Richard here, and I have a tag video, so let's get into it. Alright, so Alex the Comic Quarter tagged me for a graded comic grade tag video, I believe is what he called it. Uh, essentially, go through your collection and pull out slabs for every tier of grading. Um, I believe he starts at 0.5 all the way up to 10, and just see how many you have. Uh, at the end, I'll throw up a, like a checklist to show what I had and what I was missing. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it, because it's always fun to show some comics, and uh, tag videos are always fun, so let's do it. Alright, so first one we have right here, a point five, Fantastic Four, number five, first appearance of Doctor Doom. Uh, why point five? Um, I'm actually pretty happy to have this book because I traded a Why the Last Man number one for this essentially. Um, and you can figure out uh, who, who came out on top on that trade. Um, so yeah, very happy to have this. And yeah, that's my point five. Alright, so unfortunately I don't have anything between 1.0 and a 2 right now uh, because the 1.5s and 1.8s I have, I recently cracked because I think I can bump them up a higher grade uh, and I cracked them out to get a better look at them. Uh, so fortunately all those can't be in this tag and I had several of them. Um, so the next one up is a 2.5 and for that I have a Daredevil number 1, um, a book I never really thought I would own until I found it in the wild for pretty cheap. Uh, so yeah, there's my 2.5. Next up is 3.0 and I have a Strange Tales 101. Uh, first solo Human Torch story since 1954. Very interesting cover on this one. Uh, kind of an underrated book. Next up we got a 3.5. We got Batman 181 signed down here in the corner. Um, yeah. Underrated book, uh, probably the, the best DC key from the Silver Age, in my opinion. Just real nice looking. Next up is the 4.0. 4.0 is really hard for me to pick. Um, I know Alex showed multiple books per tier in his. I'm doing one of each. Uh, but I would say most of my Silver Age books are actually at the 4.0 to 4.5 range. Um, so picking just one from each is pretty hard. Uh, but 4.0... We got Action Comics 252, first appearance of this lady right here. Alright, time for 4.5. We got Green Lantern 76, signed by Neil Adams down here. Probably my favorite Neil Adams uh, cover. Yeah, there's a 4.5. Uh, I was surprised to realize I don't have a 5.0 in my collection. I thought I did, but apparently not. Uh, so next up is a 5.5, five. House of Secrets 92, uh, big story behind this book. I had it as a 7.0 years ago, cracked it out, and eventually I sold it. Um, and I found it again on the internet years later, exact same copy, just with a little tear up here now that made it a 5.5. Five. Um, but I got it back. This thing presents a lot nicer than what it is. So there's our 5.5. Five. All right, next up is a 6.5. I don't have a 6.0, um, but 6.5, Werewolf by Night, 32. I picked this up for $180 years ago now, back when nobody really cared about Werewolf by Night, Moon Knight. Um, so yeah, there's my 6.5. Time for my 7.0. We got Amazing Spider-Man 194, signed by Al Milgram down here. don't have a 7.5. I actually cracked my only 7.5 not too long ago. Um, so we're going to jump to 8.0 here. Fantastic Four, number 86. It's hard to see, but it's signed right here by Sonat. Uh, so yeah, there's my 8.0. No 8.5, and that one's just a choice. I hate the way 8.5s look. I don't know why. I think that grade is just ugly. So I don't have any 8.5s in my collection. Um, but so we're going to jump to 9.0. We got Dead World, number 10. Um, Signed by Obar back here, the crow. All right, we're almost through this. Kind of speed running it. Uh, my 9-2. Got Batman Adventures 12. Bought this in the community, I believe, a ways back. Uh, used to have a big old 
hold in it that pressed out really nice and there's my 9-2. Next up we got 9-4. Star Wars number one, 9-4. It's signed by Tom Palmer down here. He was the inker for this cover. Really nice near mint copy. All right, time for my 9-6. Probably my favorite comic in my collection right now. Um, Star Wars, Clone Wars number one, the variant. Double signed by Ashley Eckstein and Matt Lantern. And yeah, I paid $9 for this comic, so very happy to have that one in my collection. Next we got 9-8, uh, another hard one to pick just one, but I decided to go with this one. My spider Gwen Ghost Spider 100 variant. Really nice looking book. And I got one last, like I guess, bonus book to show. It wasn't really a category, but it is a slab book, so I figured I'd show it. It's a original art piece, Dan Mendoza, X-23. So yeah, there's a, a bonus one, if you will. Um, and yeah, that's really all there is to this, just a challenge. Uh, this is an interesting challenge because you're trying to beat the other people you, uh, you, you who are doing this. I'll throw up my checklist right here so you can see what I had. Uh, I actually don't think I beat Alex on this one. I think he beat me by one or two. Um, but if you have a, a pretty wide variety of books in your collection, you should do this. This is a pretty fun tag. And yeah, that's everything. So take care, everyone.